just didn't see it coming. It was just uh, a complete uh, bombshell, really. It's just completely turned our lives upside down. Before we had cancer in the family, we were just a normal, happy family, very lucky. Both of us had good jobs, two lovely kids, just doing the things that everybody else did. And then it all changed. I've done the race for life three times. I didn't know I'd be doing it for my own family. Kind of gets kind of scary at times. It's like having to go to the hospital and look at her in that kind of state. I don't really like it. It kind of freaks me out a bit. I had no idea really about chemotherapy, even though I'm medical. I didn't know what was involved. I hate the drugs. I hate the chemo and how knowing that three days of drugs is going to make me ill for three more weeks. You just have a whole tongue full of ulcers and all your gums are full of ulcers. Chemo is like a completely different sick and worse than any other sick I've ever felt. Everybody else kind of looks at her and they don't really know how ill she actually is. Cause like when they don't see her when she's really that ill. But I do. With children's cancer, because they're growing and the tumours grow faster, they have to treat them much more intensively. It just rips the heart out of everything, really. You're just seeing Ella so well. She's been really ill. My hair was my favourite thing about myself before. No one understands the stress of losing your hair. I was very sporty. I enjoyed going in the sea and swimming and doing loads of sports. And I was always with my friends. And so that was kind of a shock from being with them every day and then hardly with them. I wish you could just like just say something and it would stop. I'm looking forward to that because we can go and play again and have fun and we'll be over. When she was scared, she would say, am I going to die? They have always been very honest with her and they wouldn't say she wouldn't. But they would say, we'll do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen, Ella. You do have to just remain positive. You just have to be optimistic about it. Obviously, Ella's missed a big part of her childhood by going through this. <laughs> and she wants to be normal like her friends. If I had one big wish, it would be for cancer to become extinct. I think that would be it, so that no one else has to go through it. Because it is really very, very awful. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 30, 20 or 10 pounds, text 30, 20 or 10 to 70404 or donate online at channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.